I'm really excited to talk to you today about Windows Autopilot. Hey everyone, Matt Sosman here from Microsoft, Security Architect. Let's jump into Windows Autopilot. You're really gonna love this. So I want you to think about how you deploy Windows today. Whether you're a uh, consulting company with your clients or if you're an IT person at your company or organization, you're probably gonna build an image and you're gonna put applications in that image and drivers and policies and security settings and Wi-Fi profiles and VPN profiles and patches and updates and blah, 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 blah. That gets really expensive, as we know, right? It takes time. You gotta be able to test that. You gotta maintain all these different versions of the images. And I'm a security guy. And so I also think about attack surface and how your attack surface is now greatly increased because of that image. There's gotta be a, a better way. Because when you take the image, at the end of the day, all it is an image, you still have to maintain it. There's gotta be a better way, and there is. That's where we've modernized Windows deployment. So I want you to want to walk you down here um, a, a story. Think about going down to the store and buying a computer. Think about ordering a computer from your OEM. You unbox it, you turn it on, you log in, or maybe you don't log in and it automatically provisions itself. It automatically pulls all the applications and settings and VPN profiles and Wi-Fi profiles and patches and updates. It pulls all of that down automatically. The end user is happy, IT is happy, we're gonna call it a day. That's modernizing Windows deployment. And that's what Windows Autopilot's all about. This is awesome, I don't have to maintain images. I don't gotta maintain drivers. It's a very simple process. Let's simplify Windows deployment so we can actually focus on the business. My favorite part about this is I could reset the device. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. Again, at the end of the day, we're trying to, we're trying to digitally transform. We're trying to make a really awesome experience for the end user. So they love using their device. They love being productive. And if they break their device, if it gets lost in the back of a car, stolen, whatever the case may be, ship them a new one, they turn it on, they sign in, and it automatically provisions itself. But IT still has a security and the compliance that they need, and they still can maintain this. So what does all this look like? We'll get there. First off, a little bit of history around Autopilot. We started it back in uh, 1703 of Windows 10. It's evolved here over the last few revisions. It's going to continue to evolve. Um, this is really awesome stuff. And so when you look at what does it take to deploy Autopilot, it boils down to three simple steps. I register the devices, I create a profile, and assign it to a group, and I ship the device to the user. They log in, life is good, I'm off to the races. So let's talk about, at an architectural level, because I'm an architect, what does this look like? Well, I'm the IT person, I configure the profile in Intune, and when I configure that profile, I choose, do I wanna have it display the out-of-box experience, and display like you know the language or the end user license agreement, so on and so forth. Um, and I also get the device ID of the hardware itself from the hardware vendor, from the OEM. And then from there, I synchronize that with the Windows Autopilot cloud service. And so that way, when you drop ship that device to the end user and they turn it on and you connect it to a network, to the internet, whether it's wireless or, or wired, then it's going to automatically see the device ID in the Windows Autopilot service, see that it's configured with Intune, and say, whoa, hey, I got a profile for that. I'm going to pull it down, and you're off to the races. So what does the experience look like from the end user perspective? Let's take a look at that. And so there's, there's different types of Autopilot. The first one I want to talk about is user-driven, where the user is going to log in, and that's going to kick off the Autopilot process. And so let's take a few moments to look at that demo. Now to do this demo, we're gonna use Hyper-V. That's the easiest way to be able to do this here in a video. And this is gonna be the same process for a physical computer as well, laptop, desktop. And so we're gonna go into out-of-box experience mode in Windows. So I'm gonna choose my region, just like when I you know, buy the computer for the first time, choose my region, choose my keyboard layout. And then we're going to connect it to the network. So if this was a wireless network, I would choose my SSID, type my password. Um, if it's a wired network, I just plug in the Ethernet jack. And so that's what we're going to do here. And uh, once I get it connected and it you know, gets out to the Internet, it's going to connect automatically to the Microsoft Intune service and the Windows Autopilot service. 
and it's going to see that there is a, a device ID associated with a deployment profile, and it's going to start pulling that down. And here you can see it's doing that in the background. And what this allows me to do is rather than choosing, is this a work or a school or a personal account or computer and picking that account, it's going to automatically choose work or school or organization account. And here you go. And so now I have my company logo, my company verbiage. I sign in with my Azure Active Directory credentials. And if I had MFA, I'd be challenged with MFA as well, multi-factor authentication. And now we're off to the races. And so now Autopilot's kicking in. And so you're going to see here in just a moment the enrollment status page for it to actually kick off installing the applications, installing all my, my, my settings and everything else. Now this is a demo. Um, obviously, if this was, was real life, we would be pushing down a lot more data. And so this process, it could take a while. And so in another video I'm going to do later on, I'm going to talk about our white glove feature for Windows Autopilot, how you could actually stage all of your, your large applications and all of your, your large settings ahead of time so when the user logs in, um, it's a fast experience. And that stuff is already installed in the machine. So I'll talk about that in a future video. So here we're setting up the profile, we're getting things going. Um, so let's just take, give this a few moments for it to go through its process. Back to our uh, status page here. I just love the status page. It lets the user know that something's happening. And if something were to break, I could always click on show details and see if it's failed or not. Now, Windows Hello is part of my device compliance policy in Microsoft Intune. And so I'm required to create a Windows Hello pin. I love Windows Hello. I use it every day on my computer. Um, I not only have a pen, but I have a, a, um, a facial recognition camera. And all I do is just look at my computer and it signs me in every day. It's been a very long time since I had to use my password or my pen. It's just a game changer. And so uh, let's go ahead and get that configured. And then at this point, we're going to be signed into the desktop and away we go. Really cool stuff. So what are the prereqs to be able to do this? Well, I need 1703 or later on Windows 10, Azure Active Directory Premium, of course, Microsoft Intune. If I want to use the Office client, I need Office 365 Pro Plus and that subscription. And then if I want to be able to get that hardware ID, um, I could either do this on a virtual machine in Hyper-V if I just want to test out Autopilot or on a physical computer. And you could see that here on the right side. We'll make another video that you can watch later on all about the hardware ID. So we'll skip over that for now. If there was any feature about Windows Autopilot that I would call my favorite, in my opinion, it's self-deploying or self-deployment mode. Now, this is currently in public preview at the time of this recording. And uh, think about for a moment, I have a kiosk. I can upload that device ID to Intune and configure it in Intune. And then when you turn on that computer, or that device and you connect it to the internet, it's gonna automatically talk to the Windows Intune or the Windows Autopilot service and the Microsoft Intune service, see that it needs to self-deploy Windows and then away it goes. I don't have to log into it. It's gonna automatically start deploying Windows, deploying applications, uh, pushing down policy, so on and so forth. I don't have to touch it. I could think of a lot of different use cases for this, but it's really cool stuff. So. What are some of the prerequisites to be able to do this? Well, right now at the time of this recording, it is in public preview, just like um, the remote uh, reset feature. I have to be on a Windows 10 Insider preview build. I need a TPM chip version 2.0 or higher. And so uh, just a heads up, that's that's not doable on, um, on Hyper-V. And so just keep that in mind, um, at least at the time of this recording. Azure AD Premium and of course, Microsoft Intune. And so there's a profile here I'm going to show you in a minute in a demo that you create for self-deploying mode. Again, this is really cool stuff. So let's take a look at the demo. So we're back in out-of-box experience mode. We choose our language, and then we connect it to the internet. And when I connect to the internet, it's going to automatically contact the Windows Autopilot service and Microsoft Intune, pull down that profile, and look at that. It's going to take it from here. Everything's going to be automatic at this point. Whereas with user-driven user mode, I had to log in. Self-driven mode, it's automatic. And so here you can see it's going to start automatically provisioning the device. Windows Autopilot's going to deploy Windows. And in just a moment, you're going to see the enrollment status page. And you're going to see it pushing down the Wi-Fi configuration, uh, PowerShell scripts, applications, Win32 apps, store apps. It's going to push down my 
certificates, my security policies, whatever it may be. And so we're going to give that a moment to, uh, to process. And then we're going to start logging in to Windows. So obviously right now it's building out my user profile. And in just a moment, you're going to see the desktop. And there we are. Now we're at the desktop. Now this was a kiosk device. And so it's going to automatically launch the uh, Edge browser. I don't have access to the rest of the desktop. But this could be a user computer as well. It's up to you. I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief uh, demonstration here and overview of Windows Autopilot. Uh, obviously, I didn't cover everything like device reset, local and remote, and um, how to manage this on the Intune portal. We'll cover that in a future video. Uh, but hopefully you found some value in this. If you do have any questions, reach out to me on LinkedIn or on Twitter. And uh, thank you again for watching and have a great day.